Hello, welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. Uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to press subscribe, you know, well, if you want to, you know, you don't have to. Uh, but obviously today I don't have signed Onana, he signed on a five-year deal. Reports are saying it's 33 mil, BBC are saying it's, you know, it's always going to be round or thereabouts. I'd imagine a lot of that's not up front, but sounds like it's a good signing. I, um, I think I said on a previous video, I didn't know much about this kid. I know he's six foot five. I know uh, West Ham were in for him. And I think Arsenal at one point may have been looking at him. So it's nice to see that we've we, we're still we're still able to like get a sort after player. When really you think he'd go to West Ham at this current time, but you know, fair play to the uh, to the director of football, Mr. Tellwell. We couldn't remember whether his name was Paul or Kevin. We think it's Kevin, but um and no, I just, I just read a bit of his comments today in work. I mean when I was on my lunch and work. But um, yeah, he's just said like he's one of the most sought after players in Europe. Um, so it looks like a good signing, you know. He's young as well. I think he's gonna. Be, I think he's been given number eight after his uh, his hero Fabian Zelf. Rather the joke off Dave there. <laughs> um, and obviously yesterday uh, Connor Cody signed as well. The Wolves captain's come in on loan, uh, which I think, I think it's good business. The Wolves captain or Wolves? Oh yeah, Wolves. Did I say Wall or Wolves? Did you see from Saint Helens, yeah? Yes, and I've, I've yeah. seen a few people saying he was never Tony. I was like, oh, he's not. I heard he was a red. But it's pictures of him as a kid. But who cares? Anyway? He's never been playing now. And, um, I think it's pretty shrewd business considering the two players that have went out. Uh, the only thing that concerned me at first, I thought, oh, you know, he's turning 30 soon. He's not going to be paying money. But if it's on loan and then he's got an option to buy. What I've liked about that deal is there's a lot of Wolves fans online who are dead unhappy to see him go, especially on loan. They were like, what are we doing? It's like we're giving. In, in their words, some of them are saying, like, it's like we're giving a rival one of our best players. So it's like, yeah, I can see why they're annoyed. It's nice to see op opposition fans annoyed when the players are coming to Everton. Normally, they're like, fucking great, get in. We've just made a nice deal there. So, you know, is what it is. So it's nice to see Everton play, uh, sign players on consecutive days. Keep this going, Everton. Maybe it'll be Garner Gate tomorrow. Uh, obviously, I know we all want to see a strike coming in. We're getting linked to a few, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to name all the players that are getting linked in because, you know, you can find other channels that'll do that. But I'll say this, though. I, I mean, if you get... Obviously, if Garner comes in as well and we get a striker in, I think um, I think it's been a pretty good transfer, a good, good business. I'm not going to say we've won a transfer window. I'll leave that to other people to say stuff like that. Uh, but, no, I think it's it's been pretty good business, really, so far. And uh, let's make it continue. Also... Um, Steve McMahon, congratulations, you just made the list. Hey, that's for you, Dave. Dave was supposed to be on Talk Sport this afternoon and he had to bump him off for Steve McMahon. So, you know, this is what it is. I think he's number 85, actually. Have you booked him before, Steve McMahon? Have you? Oh, fuck him. <laughs> I, th I think he might have been on the list anyway. Um, but yeah, let us know what your thoughts are on Onana, what your thoughts are on Connor Cody, what your thoughts are on Garner Gay, what your thoughts are in general. Just, just let us know. And uh, until next time, up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong.